All right, so this is physics one. This is college physics. This is for you guys. Basically, it's algebra and trig-based physics. The only stuff that we will cover is mechanics. That's the study of motion as well as thermodynamics at some point. So we will study motion, fluid dynamics, um, dynamics, mechanics, as well as thermodynamics. So that's, we, we're going to finish up everything by do, working on heat. So that's the last thing we'll cover. All right. Um, yeah, most of you guys usually have a hard time with the first name. It's not supposed to be that difficult. There are evidently two ways of pronouncing it that I noticed up, that up until I came to Chicago, people used to call me Canon. My preference is Canon. And then as soon as I showed up in Chicago, people started calling me Keenan. So I tried to correct them working in an art school. And then I gave up on it at some point. So I'm responding to both of them. So one day, some, someone teaching English just asked me, is it Keenan or is it Keenan? Because I'm looking at it. For it to be Keenan, you need to have one more E. I said, that's correct. I said, it's Keenan. So she goes, well, if that's the case, why is it that people keep calling me Keenan? I said, you know, it's an art school and people don't know how to read. All right, so uh, those of you guys who don't know how to read, it's Keenan. Those of you guys who do, it's Canon. All right, I'm half Irish, half Turkish. The Turkish side calls me Canon, the Irish side calls me Keenan, whenever they have trunks. So either way, I respond to both. Okay, so my preference is Canon. I also respond to Keenan. Right. The biggest problem that I have is the freaking last name. All right, obviously it's not Irish, it's Turkish. We use the same alphabet in Turkish. Uh, my dad is Turkish, so most of you guys have a tendency to pronounce this as Kaimaz. The original pronunciation is Jaimaz. I don't expect you to remember it. And I have a problem when you call them Kaimaz because Kaimaz translated to English means friction man. All right, uh, Spider-Man, cool. Superman, cool. Batman, cool. Friction man, not so much, guys. So stay the hell away from my last name. I don't use it. Right, and if you want friction, call me friction man. I'll give you friction, guys. I, I control the grades, so don't forget that. So background is in physics. All right, I have a master's degree in nuclear physics. Uh, PhD, ABD, which means that how about dissertation in computational physics? I haven't finished up the dissertation, so I'm not a doctor, so that's not applicable, so don't use that. Um, I'm not a teacher. Don't call me teacher or teacher. So that's another thing that really gets on my nerves. Speaking of pet peeves, this is not high school. No teaching takes place at this level. This is not a higher teaching institution. This is known as a higher learning, guys, uh, which means that I'm a lecturer. I'll make it interesting for you. I'll, I'll help you learn it better, understand it better. But what I do is not consider teaching. It's considered lecturing. Teachers teach, instructors lecture, I'm an instructor. Teachers care, the instructors lecture. It's not that I don't care. This is not a daycare center. All right, so if you need help, by all means, stick around. Obviously, I'm going to help you guys out. It's not a big deal. Help you understand it. But this is more of a coaching relationship, in a sense. All right, grading policy, I don't curve. You guys will have weekly tests. I'll make the tests available usually on Sundays. Um, depending upon your work schedule, I'll make it uh, actually flexible. All right, so I'll work around your work schedule. I'd like to give the test on Sundays, one test per week. A test will be cumulative on a regular basis. So that's gonna be 90% of your final grade. Labs will be 10%. We'll do some conceptual labs. I'm gonna give you some stuff to do at home. It should be straightforward. It says attendance replaces your lowest test grade. Your participation grade is gonna replace your lowest test grade. All right, so participation. You guys will have participation quizzes at the end of the lectures. Okay, if it's better than your lowest test grade, it's gonna replace it. There will be also pre-lecture quizzes. That's gonna be extra credit. All right, so attendance is required in this class. Comprehensive final test for whatever the reason, if you don't like your final test, if you don't like your final grade, my recommendation is you take a final test. If your final test grade is better than your average test grade, it's going to replace it. Literally, you can, you can struggle all semester long. And now all of a sudden, a week before the final test, things will start to make sense for whatever the reason. If you're one of those people, take the final test. If your final test grade is better than your average test grade, you can literally get an A in this course. And there are people who have. Okay, so struggling is not a big deal. You may struggle, struggle, struggle. And when the things start to make sense, that's when you take the final test and get a better grade. So final test is gonna be optional. If you don't wanna take the final test, you don't have to. Every single test is gonna be comprehensive anyway. So that's one of the best ways of getting ready for the final test. All right, our present classroom is not a classroom, obviously. Uh, if you guys have any questions, stick around after the lecture. So I'm gonna be available. Uh, so we can go over your questions. If you need help, I'll help you out. This is a voicemail number. This is, I don't use it anymore, so don't worry about it. Um, you will have to use the school email, all right? I try to check the school email as much as possible. I do check my personal email more often. So for whatever the reason, if there's something urgent, I use my first and last name at Yahoo. This is probably the fastest way you can get in touch. If there's even a faster way than this one, that's Facebook. Okay, find me on Facebook, guys. Uh, just message me on Facebook. Everyone uses the Facebook Messenger in order to get in touch with me, including my wife. So that's my recommendation. So the breakdown of the grades, A through F, C or better will transfer, so 70% or better will transfer. I do not curve, but I got news for you. As long as you put in the work, you should not get anything less than a C. All right, not too many people fail my course. 
not too many people get less than a C. Okay, I'm not an easy instructor, I'm a fair instructor. A lot of tests, this and that, but you get better at it. And on top of that, it's not a big deal if you fail a test here and there because I got optional, I have upgrades usually. All right, the weekly tests, we'll talk about them. I usually give you 10 or 20 multiple choice questions. These are not problems, these are just knowledge based questions. I'm gonna give you five short essay questions based on the stuff that we discuss. I usually give you guys two problems. One is required, the other is extra credit. It's very manageable. All right, so expect weekly tests. I don't have any homework, but you have to review the class material in order to get ready for these tasks. Okay, so you'll kind of get used to it. If you fail a test, what happens? What happens if you fail a test is you do an upgrade. Upgrade is, which means that you do a retest. And, and when you do a retest, if you score 70% or better, I will give you a 70%. Usually, so which means that it allows you to be able to get a C in this class, C or better will transfer. Okay, so it's not a big deal if you struggle, just do the upgrade. So there's a safety, safety system in this class, so it helps you actually pass the course. And then if you're getting a C, if you want to do something better, optional final test. If you're getting a B, if you think you can get an A, try the optional final test. Okay, optional final test is going to have the same format as the regular test. I may have maybe about 50 multiple choice questions, five short essay questions. And on top of that, I'll probably give you five problems and you will get to pick four of them. All right, so homework. I don't usually assign homework. I, I will tell you which problems to focus on when you guys are studying or you're studying for the test. Attendance policy, attendance is gonna be required. All right, there's gonna be a free lecture quiz and a post lecture quiz. Okay, so that's how I would know that you're attending based on that. And attendance grades is your participation grade. So the participation grade is gonna come from the post lecture multiple choice quiz. Multiple choice questions come from the lecturer. So if you're actually participating, attending, following the lecture, you should be able to get, get them right nearly 100% of the time. Uh, okay, ignore this. Turn this policy, the lectures will start on time. So these are Zoom lectures, blah, blah, blah. Okay, guys, everything's gonna be recorded. Whatever it is that you miss, okay, don't worry about these. You can always go back and then fill in your knowledge gaps. All right, does anybody have a question? All right, I think there's one more thing that I need to cover. The book. Is not required. I'm gonna give you guys my lecture notes. All right. The lecture notes were kind of made up like about 10 years ago. So it's a PDF file. So I'm gonna put that on the uh, D2, what is it, D2L at some point. Hopefully tonight or within the week. My recommendation is you need to get a college physics book. If that's the case, just go find something online. Right? There are a lot of free PDFs available. Okay. It's the same physics, it's been the same physics for the past. 100 years so find something free or less than five dollars okay you can go to the second hand bookstore just grab something which is affordable any physics book will do you may need something to read and if that's the case you might as well also get a conceptual physics book all right so don't spend a lot of money on the books and that's kind of it for tonight does anybody have a question all right so if you go ahead so how does the post lecture quizzes work so the post lecture quizzes work just fine. So post lecture quizzes are usually five multiple choice questions based upon the lecture. And then I'll give you like 10 minutes for them. And those questions are probably ones that we will see during the lecture anyway. And that's it. All right, so a uh, quiz is gonna be available for only 10 minutes right after the lecture. And, <clears throat> and every single lecture is gonna end with a post lecture quiz, otherwise known as the participation quiz, participation quiz. All right, everything is going to be on D2L. The school usually prefers that every, all the communication takes place from the school site, which is understandable. But also, I got stuff available on Facebook if you're interested. I mean, you can just join in this college physics one um, for further discussions because I wasn't able to get into D2L as yet. Mm. Okay, um, members questions. I don't have any member questions. I'm not going to add questions. Let's, let's do that. All right, so this is College Physics One. This is a public group. If you have Facebook, just join us. If you don't have Facebook, don't worry about it. All right, usually the lecture videos will also be available there. Obviously, they will be available on D2L. A lot of these documents that you will find on D2L will also be on the Facebook site. And the videos will also be available on YouTube. Yeah, there's, uh, I got my own YouTube page, so that's what I'm, uh, okay, so. Just feel free to join here so you can have discussions, you can ask questions. Uh, I've, obviously, I'm gonna be checking this more often than D2L. Um, so this is one of the fastest ways you can actually get in touch with me. All right, any other questions?